guys, it's Teenage Marvel Fan back in the video. In the last episode of Marvel Spider-Man, um, we left off with Peter Parker um, getting trapped in this alternate dimension after he was captured by the Regent. So then in this episode, he finds a way to escape, and it was like super science-y and complicated, so I'm not going to go into detail on that. But basically, he got out. Um, but unfortunately, he was not able to get the Avengers out. So he decided that he still needed to save the Avengers, but he had to do it from outside of the dimension. And, you know, in regular Earth. Um, so he goes to the... To meet with Chief Watanabe. And he, he reveals the new information he discovered during his last fight with the Regent. And then he takes it his mission of rescuing the missing Avengers to the cellar, um, where Spider-Man discovers that Regent is none other than the cellar's warden and Watanabe's mentor, Augustus Roman. And he's been using the powers of the prison's various inmates to imprison the missing Avengers in another dimension bef because of how they arrested his father long ago. So, then this huge fight starts because, um, you know, the regent doesn't want Spider-Man to foil his plans. So then, uh, he's using all the powers of the inmates that are there at the prison. You know, you got Molten Man, Mr. Negative, Cloak and Dagger, um, to, the, um, the, in my last video, I questioned what, powers the regent was using when he had like green power effects uh we found out whose powers that was but it was some character i've never heard of before something like the, the void or, or vortex or something like that and then there he also used the powers of frostbite and whirlwind so just wanted to mention that so he's using all of their powers here um but then uh Cloak is able to escape from the, um, from one of the cells because Spider-Man lets him out because, um, when their powers are getting drained, it's, like, hurting them. So, he, he saved Cloak, and then Cloak got out Dagger, so then they were able to recharge each other and gain their powers back so that they could help Spider-Man in the battle. And then, uh, Dr. Octopus, aka Otto Octavius, has woken up from his coma, and then he and Anna Maria are still in control of the spider bots, so they send those out to the cellar to help Spider-Man in battle as well. And then Cloak and Dagger disappear, and then when they come back, you can see on screen here what they bring back with them, because they have retrieved the Avengers to help fight them in this battle. And then, I mean, once the Avengers show up, the regen is basically defeated, because, I mean, even with just one Avenger... The regent would have no ch chance, but, I mean, five Avengers, plus Cloak and Dagger, plus Spider-Man, plus o Otto's Spider-Bots, um, so yeah, that is a lot, and, let's see, yeah, they, they capture the regent, put him in his own ce cellar prison thing, and then, um, a bunch of friendships are mended, um, s specifically with Spider-Man and Ms. Marvel, because while Otto was Peter, um, he kind of ma made Ms. Marvel mad, but, but now she, she knows what's going on, because he just said, um, a villain sw swapped minds with me, and she's like, oh yeah, that, that's just a normal thing in, in the life of an Avenger. So, yeah, this is pretty much what happened in the episode. I mean, not too much else happened, but I'm excited for the next episode. So stay tuned for my next episode reviews, which will be coming out, like, probably today, because I, I'm a little behind on these reviews, so I'm trying to get them out as soon as possible. So stay tuned for my reviews on the Goblin War. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video, so I can bestow all my knowledge upon you.